another year has passed, as well as another annual international road check. The CBSA held the international road check back in May, and they just recently released the results. This year's road check is a 72-hour blitz and was focusing on anti-lock braking systems and cargo securement. Oh, I guess I should mention that you aren't just magically off the hook if your brakes work and your cargo is secure. Inspectors have no problem handing out any number of vehicle and driver violations, so make sure you are checking all the boxes on your pre- and post-trip inspections. In just a 72-hour period, they were able to inspect just under 60,000 CMVs and identify over 15,000 violations. Wow. Wow. What an accomplishment, right? No, 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 no. No. This is not an accomplishment for the CBSA. They want to get those numbers down, not up. It really makes you think about how many trucks and drivers are on the road that are not following the rules. Of those 115,000 violations, the U.S. accounted for under 20% of the violations. If you were one of the unlucky souls that fell victim to the CVSA hammer, or if you just have questions about a violation and want to challenge it, you can contact us at info at cnsprotects.com or just fill out the form below. As I mentioned, for vehicle violations, the focus was on ABS and cargo securement. Both are pretty important. If you can't stop your truck, you might have a little bit of a problem. And if your cargo is moving and shifting all over the place, you have just as big of a problem. Oh my God! See what I mean? There were just under 3,000 cargo securement violations and just over 4,000 ABS violations. And even though these two categories were the focus, there were still other more common violations that beat them out. The top five vehicle violations were brake systems, tires, defective service brakes, cargo securement, and lights. Tires and lights are some of the easiest things for inspectors to identify, and if those aren't good, they know they're bound to find more violations. On the driver side of things, the top out-of-service violations were hours of service violations, false logs, driving with a canceled or revoked license, and not having a medical card. It's no surprise about the hours of service violations. It's always the winner. But I was shocked that drivers are still trying to falsify their logs on that scale. If you recently received a DOT violation or went through a DOT audit and need to address your conditional or, or unsatisfactory safety rating, just fill out the form below or give CNS a call at 888-260-9448 and one of our DOT compliance specialists will help you out.